Guru Nation, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share. It really means a lot to me. I know it's a tough job market right now in clinical research. We're going to need to persevere. I've been interviewing people lately on my channel. People like Tamira Adams. People like Ashley Margo. People like Dr. John Nocera. People like Michelle Dowling. These are all, I'm writing an article Saturday for my LinkedIn newsletter called Investigators Brochure. Please make sure you follow me underneath on LinkedIn in the links below. Every Saturday I drop an article. I always mix in some books, some just trying to make it different from what's out there, something that I would want to read. And it brought me back to stoicism because stoicism is something I used to get into, especially when I was going through hard times in my, in my career. And right now I've been blessed, fortunate enough to be going through good times, but I've come back to it and I'm learning a lot of new stuff from it. But I figured that a lot of these principles apply to job seekers. So number one, control. And these are just some of many. I encourage everyone to get into stoicism if they can. Control what you can control. So don't worry about external factors. Don't worry about hiring decisions, market conditions, things that are outside your direct influence. My favorite one people have been complaining about lately are these algorithms that filter out CVs, filter out resumes. Yes, those algorithms exist. No, you do not know the code for them. But instead of complaining about it, why not do something you can actually control? Go take another course, maybe one on Coursera for free. Go intern at a site. Go talk to somebody on LinkedIn. Go to a free ACRP or Socra meetup. Do something that can improve your career outcomes. Control what you can control. Opportunities are out there, but rather than waiting for them to come, you need to go get them, right? Let the other people wait. In the good markets, uh, the opportunities come to more people. In the bad markets, you gotta go out and get them. So focus on what you can control, such as networking, gaining skills, and actively participating in the industry. Number two, perseverance in the face of adversity. You might have just been laid off. You might be having a hard time finding a job. You might be feeling like you're stuck in your current job. Stay resilient. Setbacks are going to be inevitable. Life is not just a linear curve going up. Life is zigzagging. Hopefully it is trending up. But what's a temporary setback? If you look at any biotech stock, any stock chart, you're going to see even the good ones. They go up, but if you zoom in on any particular period, you're going to see downturns as well. And you should look at your career like a stock. Just hope that it's trending in the right direction. And the way it's trending in the right direction is to stay resilient and to keep improving. Continuous improvement in your skill set and in your networking. Maintain your commitment. That's all I got to say about that one. Wisdom and continuous learning. John Nocero expressed this best on my one hour, almost one hour and a half podcast with him recently. Commit to lifelong learning. You're not done learning just because you got a job. You're not done learning just because you got out of school. <clears throat> I have done way more learning post-college than I, and, and university than during. A lot more. And nobody taught me to do, nobody told me to do any of that stuff either. I wanted to do it. At times, was it fun? No. I could have been doing all kinds of other things, but instead, I wanted to read, I wanted to go to a conference, because I know that if I commit to this lifetime continuous improvement, <clears throat> continuous learning, the wisdom that's there will not be able to be replaced <clears throat> by AI or by algorithms. The, the person that I'm developing to be a well-rounded generalist, I love this term generalist in the space because you can go to master different specialties and still become a generalist over time. It's something we can strive to be. You'll never get to be there, but you can strive to be it. Uh, the Stoic principle of phronesis, practical wisdom, which is gained through experience, reflection, and study. Experience, reflection, and study. 
So experience on the job training. Reflection. What did I do in that situation? How did I respond? How could I have responded differently? What likely would have happened if I would have responded that way? How do I know what evidence do I have of this hypothesis? Have I seen it in other people? What conferences did I go to where this topic came up? Or if this topic never came up anywhere, whom can I ask? This is what continuous improvement is. Mentorship. It's a great segue to the next point. Mentorship and contribution to the greater good. A key aspect of Stoicism is the idea of sympathy, or contributing to the greater good by sharing your knowledge and helping others. Four people I've interviewed recently, three, Judy Galindo, Dr. John Nocera, and Ashley Margot, all emphasize the importance of giving back to the clinical research community. Save Our Sites Conference was created for this exact purpose. We felt like, yeah, there's good conferences out there, but they could be better. Mentorship, contribution to the greater good. Not just seeking mentorship, but being a mentor for others. In my podcast with Tamira today, I told her, hey, you know what? You've been seeking all these mentors. Now that you got a job and people are going to watch this video, you're going to be a, people are going to ask you to be a mentor. And this is nature. This is life cycle. This is how I believe the universe works. Detachment from outcomes. You just got fired. You just got laid off. Separate yourself from the outcomes of what happened. But, but study and reflect from the point above. Continuous learning from two points above. Commit to continuous learning, reflection, and study. So detach yourself from bad outcomes or good ones for that matter too, but reflect on them still. So you are not the value of your latest outcome. Janet Jackson had a hit song or a lyric during her heyday, what have you done for me lately? And you are not as good as your last outcome. Maybe in the, in the job world of the transactional employability, but in the greater holistic sense, you are a collection of all your experiences and you should use those to continue to improve yourself even in the face of bad outcomes. So not being passive, like I said, to reflect on what happened, but anything that was beyond your control, analyze it, but don't blame yourself for it. And then also don't get too high on the, on the good that happened because I know there's people out there where that's the case too. Accept challenges. You're going to go through challenges. Things are not going to be simple. The same goes for the complexities of navigating regulatory hurdles, resource constraints, growing through the challenges, grow through the, grow through the lost opportunities, grow through the seized opportunities, grow through the teachings of others, help others. These are just some principles from Stoicism that I thought I'd share with you. Let me know if you think, let me know what you think about this and let me know if there's anything I missed. In the comments below, like, subscribe, comment, share, Guru Nation. Bye-bye.